Good morning, beautiful people of the world. Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. How are you guys doing this morning? How are you doing? Oh, Lord. I hope everything is well. I hope everything is well. It is Tuesday. Oh, we got three more days. Oh no, is it three more days? Yeah, three more days. And we'll be back at the weekend. I'm ready already. <laughs> I'm ready already. It seems like these weeks are flying by. It's just me, or does it seem like the weeks are flying by? I apologize for it being so dark. Y'all know that uh, the time is changing. So it's dark in the morning. And I think in a couple of weeks, the time go back. I don't understand why they won't leave it alone. Now, this is just me personally. You all may have a different opinion. But I wish they would leave it alone. And I wish that they... Um, I wish that... Um, we have more light in the evening and it could be dark in the morning or whatever way. I just don't I personally don't like it being dark at 4.30. You know, that's me. But you know, everybody may have a different opinion um, about it. But that's just me. I hate when the time go back. I really, really do. I hate when they mess with it, period, to be honest with you. I just do. But nevertheless, praise God that we are here in the land of the living. Amen, somebody. Amen. Um, I give, first of all, thanking God for waking me up to see another day, a day that I have never seen and a day that I will never see again. But I give him honor, glory, and praise for it all. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm thankful, I'm grateful for another day. I am. I am so grateful. And I just want to say to those of you that watched my video yesterday of me talking about, you know, me not wanting to be offensive to anybody and cursing. You all were hilariously funny. And some of you all were very truthful about me and about what I share. And you all were saying that, you know, you all um, really like me just being me. And then the young lady that I was talking about, and I figured she wasn't an old woman. Um, she is retired, just recently retired. We were talking back and forth. And she was like, I wasn't offended. And, you know, my husband just happened to be walking past. But I felt the need to do that because I didn't think that she or he was offended. But, um, you know, somebody else said, well, that's, I like that. Uh, somebody else said, you know, that's just you being, when you in the raw, you're at your best. You know, <laughs> when I'm angry or when something going on or whatever, you know. And... I'm telling you all, I really and truly am like this off of YouTube, you know. Um, I try very hard and have tried very hard to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I just understand why you driving so slow. I just try very hard to. She like this up on the wheel. Maybe she a new driver. I don't know. I try very hard to have a filter. And I know that I do not have one when I'm angry. If you piss me off, I'm going to go for broke. Especially if you on here just bothering me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I try very hard not to offend people. And I'm trying my best, you all. I really am. I'm trying to work on me and try to ask God to help me with my mouth because my mouth is not, my mouth, my mouth, I, I, I can read a person, you know what I'm saying? I can go there. And I know that about me. But I also want to say this, that, you know, it's from a lot of teasing and bullying over the years as a kid, as a young person. Oh, uh, where are you going? Oh, you just got out of the hospital. Oh, Lord. You walking across?
across the street with a hospital gown on and a sheet. Jesus, where is he coming from? And got on some some gym shoes, some blue gym shoes, child. Bright blue gym shoes. My Lord. Anyway. Lord keep him safe. Um he must have come from that hospital right here. Jackson Park Hospital. Where you coming from, y'all? Where you coming from? Anyway. Um I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying to um, really work on my filter, you know, because I don't, I don't have a filter, and I know that about me. You make me mad, I'm gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying. I'm really, 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 really trying, you know. But I don't like stupid stuff, and I don't like bullying, and I don't like people bothering me. Don't bother me. Go, go somewhere and sit down. Don't go bothering nobody else either. You know, Tabitha Brown, who's a, a influencer, she said, if you ain't having a good day, go, 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 don't go messing up nobody else's day either. Just because you ain't having a good day. Leave people alone. You know, just leave us alone. You don't have to watch, you know. But I do appreciate you all very much because the, the, there are those of you that watch me religiously. And, you know, you're my fans and I appreciate you. So I never want to run you off. You know, I never want to do anything to turn you off uh, from watching. So I, I have to be accountable for me. I have to be accountable for what I do and how I do it and what I say. And, I, and whether or not the person was really offended or her husband or whatever i have to take accountability right for me being me and i have to always check me because i can't check nobody on here if i don't check me right um and so that's always my goal my goal is to always be real and authentic my goal is always to be truthful to you all regarding anything concerning anything if i'm showing you all a product if i'm um telling you all just about me i always want to be transparent you know and real you understand what i'm saying i never want to come off as this little snooty you know bitch or whatever or you know she thinks she all that or whatever you know i'm I, i'm who i am you know so when i'm in my element i'm in my element but i do know that some people cannot take the harshness in me. And uh, what I was saying was that it's from the years of being bullied and being teased. And so now I, I've taken I've taken a lot of uh, verbal abuse from men that I've been in relationships with. Um, uh, I, I deal I've dealt with narcissist men and narcissist women as well in friendships you know and women just being mean and hateful and nasty towards me and you know all of, all of that you know so having said all of that i'm so aggressive and that's why i come out like you know a bear and i'm like because I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm over all of that but now having said all of that and we ain't, I ain't got past that and I'm and I just want to mention that again and to thank you all for your support. I do want to talk to you all about this and I want to get your opinion about this. So you know, as I told you all, I watch a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of Facebook videos, TikTok, Instagram. If you want to say it, I'm a social media whore, okay? I'm on all of those platforms. And I'm inundated with them, and I watch a lot, a lot, a lot of it, right? So, for those of you all that are on Facebook, if you go down to the bottom, and there's like a little uh, icon that looks like uh, a video, right? And if you press on that, it'll, it'll play videos of different things. Celebrities, um, um, what's her name? Um. Uh, Lynn Toller, the, the judge, all these different things. Steve Harvey show videos and all of this, right? So yesterday I clicked on it and a clip came up of uh, Steve Harvey's um, 
uh, daytime show. And I, I liked Steve Harvey's daytime show. And I particularly liked it when he would give, when women or men or, you know, anybody would stand up and ask for relationship advice, right? And I know a lot of people don't like him. I like Steve Harvey, okay? Um, now, I don't agree with everything he say, okay? But I like him. I do have a book, uh, his book, um, and I haven't read it. I bought it, though. I read some some parts of it where he says, uh, think like a, um, act like a lady, think like a man or something like that. So, anyway, the video comes up, and there's this older couple, older woman. She had to be, they might have been in their late 60s, maybe early 70s. She said they had been married for 23 years. Now, first of all, let me say this. She looked real cute, okay? She was an older lady. She had on this yellow, pretty yellow dress and like a little black sweater. So she gets up and she says this. And this is what I want you all's opinion about. Those of you that are married, been married, or are in relationships. This is my, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story and then I'm gonna ask you the question. So she gets up and she says, I've been married to my husband for 23 years. The audience clapped and everything. And her husband looked like a, a, a very good friend of the family, of our family. Look, I mean, almost just like him. So I'm like, was that? But it was But anyway, um, so she said, I've been married to my husband for 23 years. And she said, my husband likes to coordinate with me. What I'm, what I'm wearing, he'll go and he'll pick the same color. She said, if we go on to church, if we go on on vacation, if we go on out to eat, you know, he always asks me, what color are you wearing? And she'll say, like this particular day, they was on the Steve Harvey show, at the Steve Harvey show. He said, she said, um, um, I'm wearing yellow. So he picked, well, actually he picked the color for them to wear. It was yellow. Like I said, she on a pretty yellow dress. He had on a yellow dress shirt and a tie and some black pants. So they did match because she had on that little black sweater. And I wouldn't have worn that black sweater with that yellow dress. But anyway, I was like, girlfriend, you should have had on like a little cute white little, you know, shawl. But anyway, that's my fashion thing, whatever. And so, um... She said he likes to coordinate with me. He likes to dress like, like, like always want us to be in the same color. Not necessarily the same outfits, but he likes to coordinate her colors. She says, and you know, he's been doing this for years. We've been doing this for years. We do, we do this all the time. She said,
it is so hard to find a man or to have a man. I'm not going to say to find because we shouldn't be out looking or trying to find them. But it is so hard to have a man that you've been married to for 23 years that still wants if, if, if you've been married to him for 23 days for them to want to coordinate with you dress color coordinate with you you know ladies I, I just what I want to ask you all why do you all find the simplest stuff to be annoyed by when it comes to a man I'm asking see because what I need you ladies to appreciate about a man that is into you, that loves you, is that there are there are single women that want a man to do what this man was doing. And and I was very I felt I felt sorry for him in a way because he was sitting there, he wasn't saying anything. He had his beard and his uh mustache was like salt and pepper he had it i mean it was groomed up to a t i wish i could find a video and put it over here on youtube if you've all seen that video let me know but i guess my question is why is it that you all find the littlest simplest shit to complain about when you have these type of men in your life now I want to be clear because see there's a difference with being with being someone with with someone who is clinky and someone who is into you and is loving on you do you all know how many women married women I know a few that would love for their husband to do that kind of a thing they would love for their husband to say, babe, what you wearing? What color you wearing? I'm a match your color. I just, I guess what I don't understand and what I'm trying to understand is why in the hell would you complain about that? You talking about, she talking about, and I just want to be me. Now, I'm going to say this. And some of y'all going to get mad when I say this. She was not. Not that this has anything to do with anything, but I'm going to say it anyway. And y'all probably going to say, Cece, you wrong. She was not the cutest woman. She was not the prettiest, okay? She was a little plain Jane. She could tell she didn't wear a lot of makeup. She looked a little homely, if you really want to know the truth, okay? But, but, nevertheless, that was just her style, okay? And I ain't saying that, oh, she should be glad to have a man. That's not what I'm saying, because I don't believe in that. But I guess what I'm saying is, is that, to be honest with you, they, they did not match. And the reason why I said they didn't match is because you could tell that back in his day, he was very good looking, because he was on good looking older man okay so I guess what I'm saying is the, the average typical man would not have given her a time to time of day at all at all in fact she looked older than him but you could tell that he was older than her Men will sit up here and say that they want an all-natural woman, and they will get one and still doll that natural, all-natural woman, and will talk about why you don't, why you don't, uh, why you don't do this? Why aren't you? Why you ain't more? Why you don't put on some makeup? Why you? Why you wearing that? Cause her hairstyle was an old. Look like she gets a, she gets her hair pressed and curled. Nothing about her was. Uh, what do you want to call it? Nothing about her was modern day, the, 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 the more modern day type of woman, okay? 
Not saying she didn't have weave down her butt or nothing like that. She had on these glasses. If she had that that looked like if she just would upgrade her reading glasses, that would do her some justice. You understand what I'm saying? And so I'm sitting here, I'm listening to her. So Steve Harvey and, and the audience and everybody was like, oh, why you know, like, lady, why are you tripping? And so Steve said to her, you all look nice. He was like, do you know? And same thing I'm saying, because I was thinking, he said, you know how many women would love to have a man um, do this? And, and, and he said, and that's your only, that's your only, because she didn't get up and say, my husband is abusive. My husband don't pay me no attention. My husband is this, 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 this. She didn't say that. Okay? She didn't say that. And he just kind of was like laughing. And then he stood up. And, and, and Steve uh, Harvey was talking about how groomed, how well groomed he was. I mean, to a T. I don't know who his barber is. But when I tell you he had him cut up right with his beard and uh, mustache... And the salt, the the gray and the black. That man was that man was fine. He was fine as an older man. I I just would love to have seen what he looked like as a younger man. But the point I'm trying to make to you women that are married in a relationship, pick your battles and be very 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 careful what battles. You pick it because if that's the only thing, and that to me, that says to, I'm gonna tell you what it meant to me. It meant to me that not that he want to be her. First of all, he didn't have on the dress. So what do you mean you just want to be you? He didn't have on the dress. He was he was bald. Um, he had like low cut hair. He wasn't completely bald, but. I'm sure he don't do that when y'all go into the grocery store or when you all are going just on a regular errand. But when he steps outside with you and takes you out to dinner or takes you to church or takes you to a fancy affair or whatever, he wants, he wants everybody to know, this is my queen. This is my woman. We, 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 we look, we coordinating cause, cause I wanna be, I wanna be in tune with her. I, I wanna, I wanna, um, I wanna have this connection with my queen. Now I know it may sound corny to a lot of people, and it may, you know, because I see couples that dress alike all the time, and so, you know, that's a running question that's on Facebook: Would you dress like your significant other? I would. I would, because what it symbolizes is that we are, we, 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 we are connected. We are one. I'm not saying you got to do it all the time. I'm not saying that, you know, it's required. But what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I mean, it is so difficult. It is so difficult to be involved with a man who is romantic. It is so difficult. <laughs> they don't want to be romantic. They don't want to do shit. And I guess my thing is, I just didn't understand. I didn't understand. <clears throat> oh shit! I might not get a part. I guess I just didn't understand I just didn't understand her um her her complaint. I really didn't. Squeaking. I need some brakes. I think I need some back brakes. My 
whole thing is that Maybe, maybe it's me. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm going to just talk about me. I long to have that with the man. Okay. I want a man that is into me. Okay. I don't want a man who smothers me. I don't want a man who is clingy. I don't want a man who does not let me breathe, okay, without him. But I want a man that loves me to the point where he's proud to be with me. Does that make sense? See, a lot of men are with y'all, but they ain't proud to be with you. They just with you. See, it's a difference with being with someone and being proud that you're with someone. I ain't never had that. So I guess for me, she irritated me. She really did. She really irritated me. I understood what she, what she, where she was coming from, but at the same time, she irritated me. She really did. And I'm and I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep it 100. And y'all can say whatever you want to say about me. Y'all can talk about me. Y'all can say, "Cece, you are so so wrong to say that," and that is so mean. I just felt like I'm just gonna be honest. Most men would not have given her a, a thought, a chance, because of the fact that she did look so homely looking. They would even they would not give her a chance, not an ounce. And I ain't saying this to say like, oh, she should be happy. But I guess what I am saying is that you can be the most beautiful woman in the world. You can be a Holly Berry. You can be a Beyonce. You can be a Mariah Carey. You can be all of that. And they still won't be proud to have you on their arm. And the fact that he's he wants to show or to say, I want to coordinate with you. It just showed me that he was really into to her. He was really into their relationship. He he want he it's like he want people to know this is my queen. I want to look like my queen. I want to coordinate with my queen. I want to um, I want to, you know, like, I want to just, just, just show how I feel about her. I want to coordinate with her. A lot of men don't want to do that with you. A lot of men don't want to take you to the corner, let alone put on something and, and, and you all look alike or coordinating the same colors. I don't know. She just, she just, she irritated the fuck out of me yesterday. Excuse my French. She's like, I just, I just want to be me. What, what do you mean? And, and, and so the Steve Harvey told her, he said, you are you. He said, you are you. He said, but what's wrong with that? What's wrong? What is he doing? What is he doing? She, and, and so, like I said, he was just sitting there. He was just quiet. And I just felt bad for him because it, because the brothers that are out here, and when I say brothers, I'm not talking about black men. I'm talking about men, period. I call every man and every woman sis and brother. Now, in the black community, 
that's something that's our our language with each other calling each other what's up sis what's up brother that's what we do that goes that goes all the way back to um the 60s okay when they started calling each other sister and brother um but it's a lot of brothers out here that ain't ain't checking for you like that ain't coming for you like that you know they don't even want nobody to know that they with you they don't even want nobody to know that they that they your husband they don't wear their wedding ring they don't want to take family photos they don't want to do shit and i'm like lady go take several seats please seriously she made me mad she pissed me off I'm like you you ought to be glad you got a man who into you like that and before you all say it well that's something that's irritating to her look here you've been married to him for 23 years if y'all been doing this for 23 years why you today you 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 upset about it i don't know i don't know maybe it's me so the question that I have that I want to ask you all that are married or have been married or in a relationship, would that irritate you? Because I know a lot of men who be like, hell no. No. I'm not, we not wearing no matching t-shirts. We not wearing no matching pajamas on christmas we not color color coordinate when we go out i don't know i guess i ain't never i have never been um in a relationship where a man was into me like that i'm telling y'all if i had a man who showed me that type of attention and who wanted to coordinate with me and wanted to show me off, I, I probably don't know how I would act. And I know y'all probably going, huh? See, it's not until you have never had love and you've never had um, a man to treat you really, really good that you can appreciate a really good man see a lot of women are so are have have had men to do so much for them they have had men to uh shower on them and do things for them that when another man does it it's like nothing to them but if you a woman that is my age at 54 they have never really felt um that you have never felt loved and you have never had a man that really really have loved you and really been into you 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 would appreciate somebody who is you know um every man that i've ever dated every man that i have ever dated and i'm gonna say this to you all i'm, I'm gonna say this before i say that one thing i want to say to you all is that this whole narrative of you picked him let me say this to you all it doesn't matter what a woman picks okay it's what's out here the majority of men that are out here are 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 not relationship material okay um This, they just not. They just not. And I, I, this is, I'm not talking about all men. I'm just talking about the majority of them. And I won't even say the majority. I'll just say this. Quite a few of them. 
they have no use for you but for, for what is between your legs. They don't want a relationship. They don't want this. They don't want that. You know, they want to keep you a secret. You know, this, this, that, and other. And then people sit up and say, well, you know, you chose him or you picked him. Let me, let me explain something to you all about that. Women don't go out here picking men, okay? Now, everybody got a certain type of man that they like. That is true. But for the most part, you get with people and you find out how people are. And what oftentimes happens, and I'm going to just speak for me, I have stayed in toxic relationships because I didn't want to be alone. Right? I didn't want to be alone. I stayed, 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 knowing, knowing that. Did I put that in there? What did I do with that mascara? See, that's why I was trying to keep everything in one thing. Knowing that this ain't working. Now, that's one thing I know that we as women do. We stay too long, right? We stay too long. We, we, we stay too long trying to make it work, trying to have something with them, trying to have a relationship, trying to stick it out. Can't do it. Can't do it. When you find out who people are, you need to exit, okay? If it's something you can't deal with, you need to say, you know what? I can't deal with this. This ain't for me. I'm finna bounce. And a lot of women don't do that. And I'm one of those women. Because nine times out of ten, it ain't going to get no better. And so we hold on and we hold on and we hold on. And that's just how most women are. A lot of women be holding on to see if he going to change, if he going to do right. I'm hot now. If he going to do right, you know, if he going to act right, if he going to get his shit together. And that, a lot of times they don't. It's hard finding men who are romantic. It's a lot of brothers out here that are very romantic. I ain't met them. I have not met them. See, and for me, for me, I don't want a man who only want to be into me when he into me. Now you'll catch that later. If you if you if you quick on your feet, you know what I'm talking about. That's not the only time I want him to be into me. So I was just, you know, I was just sitting back. I was going, I was going, okay, well, maybe it's me. Because I know that I'm a romantic and I know I like mushy stuff. And everybody don't like what I like. And some of you women probably would, um, looking at this video saying, I agree with her. I don't want a man to be coordinating with me, dressing like me, um, that's too much. I want my independence, you know. 
I'm just going to say this to y'all. All you women that's so independent. If you've been married for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, and you've had a man who has... And I'm not going to even use paying the bills. If you have a man who does things that you don't have to do, take your car to get it washed, make sure your oil is changed, um, go fill up your tank, I'm going to give you a perfect example. Right now, right at this very moment, I have, when you're going down the steps to my basement, I have a light that, I didn't even realize this, but there the light is out. I have a glow. Okay, I have a light that goes down to the basement. I have to put these things on my stairs so that I won't fall down my basement steps when I go down in the basement in the morning because that's where all my sweatshirts are and my t-shirts and stuff and downstairs in the downstairs dresser, dresser, uh, chest. Well, I have to put these lights. I showed them to you all. I ordered them from Tim Moo. I have to put them down my steps so that I don't fall. But I need somebody to get up on a ladder because it's way up in the ceiling and change the light bulb. I don't have a ladder. More importantly, if I did have a ladder, I don't have a man to do it. Give you another example. My motion light on my in my on my back porch, on my back door. Chris and I Put the light bulbs in. He sit up on the on the stool, step stool. He put the light bulbs in. We can't get the motion light to come on. So I gotta wait until my friend, the one who changed my locks and all that. I can't get in touch with him. I need him to come do that. Give you another example. I want to put my shower heads. I got brand new shower heads that I bought. I want the ones where you take it out of the holder and you rinse yourself off. <sighs> My friend, he's supposed to come back and do it. He had he been working on he been building um this gazebo in his backyard. He ain't came to do that. I got pictures on the floor that I want hung. Ain't got nobody to do that. In my bedroom where the air conditioner is. It looks like it's dripping behind the wall or whatever. I need somebody to come look at that. So, I don't need a man, but I want one. Okay? And I want him for those type of things. You know, certain shit I don't want to fucking worry about. Certain things, I want him, I want a man to come in and be like, oh, you need me to do this shit? Now, listen here. I have a lot of male friends who will come and do what I ask them to do. But the problem is getting them over there to do it. Because everybody got their own life. So, ladies, I'm going to say this to you respectfully because I love you. And because I'm speaking to you from a single woman who, from a single woman's perspective... If you have a man who adores you, who cherishes you, who just want to put on a, the same color that you wearing, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to say it one more time. Shut the fuck up. If that's, if, if he just want to, he want to, you got on green, he want to put on green. You mean tell me you can't be yourself individually just because now you with him and he want to put on something green? Y'all get on my goddamn nerve. You guys, if you got a man that you don't have to think about certain things, that he just automatically take care of it,
You know how many married women and women that are single or women that are married complain and say shit like, um, they say shit like, uh, I've been trying to get him to do this for six months and he ain't did it yet. If you got a man who you don't have to ask him to do shit, he just gets up and does it. Shut the fuck up. Real talk. Sometimes y'all complain and y'all say, say, uh, complain about the wrong, wrong stuff. So my point is this. Pick your battles. I need to go ahead and see if my hand work on this machine. Hold on, I'll be back. He still ain't working. Oh well. I tried it. So yeah, you know, y'all gotta just y'all irritate my soul. That's all I'm gonna say. Sometimes y'all just irritate me. I'll be like That's all I'm gonna say. Pick your battles. You know. Take your battles. So anyway, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to do a video about this lipstick and put it on my uh, Facebook page. So I'm not going to put it on right now. But ladies, all I'm going to say is stop looking for 
little things to complain about when it comes to him because it could be a whole lot worse. Take it from me. Uh, <laughs> nobody is perfect, right? Nobody, nobody, nobody. But appreciate what you have in your man. Whatever it may be that he does, appreciate it, okay? Appreciate it. Tell him thank you. Tell him that you, you know, love on him, you know, because I'm going to tell you all, you know, I'm very independent. I take very good care of me and my household and my bills and things of that nature. But I'm going to tell y'all, it would be nice as hell to have somebody, I just paid the mortgage yesterday. It would be nice as hell to have somebody split that damn mortgage with me. And I could have some extra money in my pocket. You know, um, I don't necessarily know if right now, if I want to get married, if I want to live with a man, I, I don't know. But it would be nice to have somebody to say, hey, you know, I know you was going through this financial situation. Here's a thousand dollars on the mortgage. Here's five hundred on the mortgage. You understand what I'm saying? When I pay my mortgage, I don't have very little left. Okay. Now, I'm working it out, but it's still a strain. And because I had all of these financial things hit me all at once, the car, the cat. It's going to take me another two months to really get back to where I need to be. That's why I'm on this other platform trying to make some money, okay? Um, because I really, really, really seriously need it. But it would be nice to have a man say, you know what? I got the motion light working. I got the light lamp. You know, it's just little things. It's not a whole lot of stuff I need in my house. But there's some things I need done in my house. I need... We can't take a shower in the guest bedroom, bathroom because when you turn the shower on, it needs to be tightened. And it's stuff like that. It's stuff like that, you know. So if you have a man who take care of the house, he take care of things you don't want to have to necessarily be concerned with or take care of. Stop complaining. Do y'all understand me? Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Pick your battles. I, okay, he might leave the socks in the bathroom. He may leave his underwear in the bathroom. He may leave the top off of the, the, the ketchup. He might not put this little twisty towel on the bread. But if he doing everything else and if he loving on you and if he into you and if he want to dress like you, if he want to wear the same colors you wear, let him. If he want to hold your hand walking down the street, if he wants to be affectionate in public, not overly affectionate, but affectionate, if he want to show the world how proud he is that you are with him, that he's so proud to have you on his arm, let him. Yeah, step out of the way. Get out of your own way. Because I'm telling you, you could be me. And you don't want to be me. You don't want to be a lot of women. See, I don't have a husband or a man. So my expectation is not the same because I don't have it. But I to, to be in a loveless relationship where there's no love, where there's nobody that's showing you that kind of uh, affection. It's horrible. Now, maybe you've always been a type of woman that you've always had it going on. You've always had women. I mean, not women. You've always had men drool all over you and, and all of that. One day, you ain't going to have it. And you're going to be sitting back saying, Man, I wish... I wish George was here to ask me what color I'm wearing today. You're going to go to your closet to put something on and you're going to think about because George might be going on home with the Lord. And you're going to remember that. So take those little things that he does and appreciate them because he could be ignoring you like a motherfucker. He could be that type of man that don't want to talk, that's always into his phone, that's always playing a video game, that every goddamn sports that come on TV, he can't miss it. He might be the type of man, y'all can't do nothing. Because he want to sit home and watch fucking football all goddamn day. When I tell you, 
the next man I have in my life, I want him to hate sports. I want him to hate it. I don't want, I want him to say, I don't want to, I don't watch football at all. I don't watch, thank you. Because every man I've been with love sports, love basketball, love um, football. The last guy, my friend, he got, I talked to him last week. He asked me last Saturday, what was I doing? Oh, uh, Saturday before last. I said, I'm out doing blah, 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 blah at the mall. He said, I said, what you doing? I'm sitting home watching. I'm going to watch college football all day. How the fuck do you watch that shit all day long? When I, he and I was seeing each other, he got to turn the channel. As soon as he come in over my house, uh, man, um, you know, like, uh, can we turn the channel? I'm like, to what? The football game is on. He got to watch every motherfucking football game. And my father was the same way. That when my father, as my father died, my mother would say, this house does not sound the same. Because my father had the football game on. I've, all, my, my, all my years growing up, there was not a Sunday that you didn't have the kid game on. And it would be loud. And my father couldn't do shit because the football game is on. So the next man, I, I prayed and asked God to send me a man who does not like sports. Because I'm sick of these men who all they want to do is watch sports, watch sports, watch sports, watch sports. I really don't want to date another man who's all into football. I really, really don't. I'd be so glad when that shit is over. And then when football is just coming, come the football season is almost over, then basketball start. And he got to watch every basketball game. And this motherfucker like hockey. I don't know too many black men that like hockey. He like hockey. He like baseball. He like football. He like basketball. I'm like, God damn, do you like golf? My sister's husband got to play golf. Got to play golf. I don't want them to, our next man, I don't want them to like none of that shit. None of it. Got to play golf. Then if, if they ain't playing golf, they got to, uh, well, well I'm in a bowling league. Mm -hmm. No. No, 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 no. I don't want a man like that. I don't. Because you can't do nothing because they saturated in that shit. They saturated in it. Every man I have been with loves sports. Let's go out to eat. Now, well, you gonna have to you gonna have to wait till the game go off. Cause I got to see this. Really, motherfucker. You gonna have to wait. 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 Can we go? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, I gotta watch this game. Shit, get on my fucking nerve. So appreciate, appreciate the man that you have. And if you got a man that don't like sports, girl, you batting a thousand. Just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, you all have a great uh, Tuesday. I'll see you back on here tomorrow. God bless each and every last one of you all. Pick your battles, ladies. Move, move wisely and smart. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. All right. Have a great day. Bye. Love y'all. Bye. Ha, <laughs> ha.